Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. O-M-G. Like, what are you wearing? What, me? Are you talking to me? Uh, yeah, duh. Do you see anyone else sitting next to me? By the way, why are you sitting next to me? You're so uncool. Um, because I needed to ha take a seat so I wasn't late and got detention? <laughs> I actually did my homework today, surprisingly. Wow, Molly, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Daisy. What are you wearing, by the way? You look ridiculous. Oh, this wizard hat? That's because my family um, went and visited Harry Potter World. It was amazing. Oh, that is so lame. Harry Potter is for babies. No, it's not, Sarah. Harry Potter is basic. I know plenty of adults that love Harry Potter. Actually, they're obsessed with it. Yeah, because they're lame and they don't want to grow up. Who would want to grow up? Growing up's boring. Why are you wearing that alien outfit? Oh, I got that when we were at Disney. I think it's adorable, right? No, you look like a weirdo. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to ignore you, Sarah, because you're being rude. And I'm going to dream about cupcakes. Ah, cupcakes. And lunch! Ooh, I can't wait till lunch today. We're having pizza! No, you... You don't want to eat lunch. Look, you're annoying, and I don't really like you that much, and you're a total loser, but I'm not going to let you, well, fall to the hands of the evil lunch lady. What? What are you talking about, Sarah? <laughs> evil lunch lady. Is she for real right now, Molly? Yeah, are you for real? The lunch lady on um, Marge makes the best pizzas in the world. I love large Marge. She's so nice. Uh, yeah. Well, last night, she proved that she was totally evil. Wait, what? Yeah, I was here late for cheerleading practice, and I went up to the cafeteria to, like, grab a soda. And guess what I saw? <sighs> I can't believe I gotta work late again. Can't they find me any help around here? I mean, seriously, Large Marge has very large feet. She needs to sit down every once in a while. Ugh. <sighs> And these kids, I tell you what, I try to take such good care of them, and all they want to eat is sugar. Well, <laughs> I'll show them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so? Large Marge stayed late and worked. Did you not hear what she said? She said, I'll show them. Well, maybe she was going to show us even more pizza. You know, that's better than eating candy. Ooh, pizza and candy. Sounds like the perfect Friday lunch for me. Molly, it's not Friday. Oh, uh, sounds like the perfect whatever day it is uh, for me. Ugh, you're not listening. I'll tell you what happened next so you finally believe me. <laughs> now I'll show them all. These kids can't be a brat on my watch. And all that sugar definitely makes them brats. Oh my god. Large Marge has gone completely out of her mind. Lost all of her marbles and she wasn't even playing the squid game. Ugh, this cannot be good. I'm not eating that pizza. She's definitely put some toxic waste on it. Gross. Holy guacamole! Large Marge is evil! I don't know if I would be so um, quick to judge Large Marge. She's made our lunches since the dawn of time. I mean, I'm pretty sure she made the dinosaurs' lunches. <laughs> what do you want for lunch today? We've got pizza, we got bananas. Okay, okay. Seriously, T-Rex, don't bite me. I'm trying to, you know, give you the best lunch possible. 
Well, whatever. You can believe whatever you want, but I'm not eating that toxic pizza she made. She may have been around since the dinosaurs, but she's lost all her marbles. I'm going to Starbucks for um, my lunch. I already ordered it. It's going to be delicious. But Daisy, Mom didn't give us enough money to buy Starbucks, and then I'm going to be hungry. Well, Molly, I, 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 I don't know if I should believe Sarah. Her story seems pretty realistic. Maybe we should go up and check on the lunch lady and see if she's as evil as she thinks, as Sarah thinks. Large Marge wouldn't do that, Molly. She's so nice. Um, well, there's no hurt in trying. I mean, we don't want to eat poison pizza, do we? I guess not, Molly. You're probably right. Okay, I'm going to go incognito. How are you going to do that? I'm going to use my um, wizard hat to do it. Duh. Molly, is that you? Uh, yeah, it is. Molly, your voice sounds hilarious. What happened? I told you already, Daisy. I used my Harry Potter magic hat to turn me into a policeman. <laughs> Who better to than to interrogate the lunch lady and find out if she's evil? Um, yeah, okay, well, if you say so. Come on, let's go. Call me Sergeant, uh, McDonald's. Sergeant McDonald's? Are you kidding? Sorry, I'm hungry, so all I can think about is, mm, cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets and, 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 and delicious ice cream for McDonald's. Oh, boy, my sister's crazy. Okay, Sergeant McDonald's, let's go. Who could that be? What, a police officer? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I see that you have a box marked toxic waste. What's that about, huh? What are you talking about? Oh, this, this is nothing. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to that. Actually, I think you've been, well, putting toxic waste on these pizzas. Dun, dun, dun! I just made that noise for a dramatic effect. What, me? I wouldn't do that to these children. I've been feeding them lunches since we were all dinosaurs. Uh, did you actually go to school yourself? We, we, we didn't come from dinosaurs. Well, I think we did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did. I was here when the dinosaurs were eating. Um, uh, okay. I think you may have lost your marbles. Daisy, uh, do you want to come bear witness to this? Um, yeah, okay if I have to. <laughs> Wait a minute. You look kind of familiar to me. What's your name? Uh, my name's Sergeant McDonald's. What? Sergeant McDonald's like the restaurant? Yeah, my brother. He started McDonald's restaurants. You may have heard of him. Wow, he was a lot more successful than you, huh? What? No, I wanted to be a police officer. That's so much better than owning a million restaurants. Yeah, I'm, I'm not rich or anything, but my job's important. Sheep was Molly. Try to stick to the subject. Yeah, so anyway... Where's that box of toxic waste? You don't want that. It's full of terrible things for you. Then why are you putting it on the pizza? All right, that's it. You're under arrest. What? No, I have to feed the children. No, you've lost your marbles. Now hands behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you, Large Marge. I don't understand. Could that be used against me? Yeah, I already said that. If you say anything, it could be used against you. Ugh, Large Marge, she's something else. Hello? Uh, Large Marge? What, what's going on here? And and wait, did, did you did you store that box of toxic waste or did you throw it out? Because I just realized I may have put my, some of my chemistry stats for the students in there. Oopsie. Uh, I was I was trying to get rid of it for you like you asked. Uh, and I, 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 I think there's been a large misunderstanding here. Wait, what? The chemistry teacher gave you the toxic waste, so you're both in on it? What? No! It... Oh my gosh, this is so confusing! Alright, alright. Sergeant McDonald's will solve this. I think, if I can figure out what's going on here. Psst! Marty! Marty, you I mean, Sergeant McDonald's! What? What, what is it? Uh-oh. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a sergeant. You... you... You're not a police officer. Y y you're a student? What's going on here? Um, I'm not really sure myself, but um, Sarah told me that she overheard you saying you were putting something on the pizza last night when she was here after school for cheerleading practice and told us not to eat the pizza. 
What? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Mr. Adams, can you please let me out of these handcuffs? Sure, and you students seem like you're gonna end up with a lot of detention. <laughs> Don't no, 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 no! I've never had detention! This isn't my fun, it's all Molly! What? Daisy! Way to throw me under the bus! Bye! Okay, Molly, would you like to explain? Yeah, uh, Sarah said that you put toxic waste on the pizza, and I came up here to find out, and, um, yeah, you were holding a box that said toxic waste. And I turned into a police officer because I have this magic hat from Harry Potter World. Well, that kind of sums it up, and it is kind of funny because what I was putting on the pizza was onions and peppers and some other vegetables because you kids eat way too much sugar. And the toxic waste was mine. It's a byproduct <laughs> when you're a chemistry teacher. Sometimes toxic waste happens. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Oops, I just made some toxic waste of my own. <laughs> Molly, uh, you're still going to have detention. Wait, what? Why? No fair! Well, you can still take a slice of pizza with you. You know, if you don't think I poisoned it. Large Marge! <laughs> this was all just a big misunderstanding. You're the best lunch lady ever. You should get an award. But I don't ever get an award. If I give you one, can I get out of detention? No. No, Molly. Take your slice of pizza and head to detention. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe I had to get this after-school job. Oh, I wish someone else was hiring. Molly, come on. There's customers going by. Okay. I'm a hot, hot, hot dog. I've got mustard on my tummy. I'm a hot, hot, hot dog. Buy some hot dogs here. They're yummy. Oh, this is humiliating. I'm a hot, hot, hot dog. I've got mustard down my tummy. <laughs> Molly, this is your new job? <laughs> You look ridiculous! <laughs> Daisy, be quiet! Okay? It's, it's an honest living! Dress like a hot dog? <laughs> Who gave you this job anyway? Okay, the manager of the grocery store. Hot dogs are on sale this week and they're trying to get rid of them. Oh, <laughs> that's a great job, Molly. How much does it pay you? Minimum wage, but, you know, that's enough. Now go away, I'm singing my song. I want to hear it one more time, Molly. <laughs> I'm a hot, hot, hot dog. I've got mustard down my tummy. I'm a hot, hot, hot dog. Buy some hot dogs here. They're yummy. <laughs> See you at home, Molly. See you at home. Ugh, this is not worth the money I'm getting paid. Oh, thank goodness my shift is over. Oh, look. Mom carved pumpkins! They're so adorable! Mom, I'm home! Hi, bye! Hi! You're a giant hot dog! I know, totally. Sing the song, Molly, she'll love it! No! I've been singing it all day! Oh, there you are! <laughs> you look adorable in your hot dog costume! Ugh, oh, yuck! Is that what you want to be for Halloween, Molly? My work costume? No, no. I love it. I want a hot dog for dinner. Ugh, all I smell is hot dogs after being at the grocery store all day. Yuck. Ah, uh, well, girls, I have to work late tonight. I have to go back to the office, actually. I'm thinking about calling Grandma to be your babysitter. What? No, I'm too old for a babysitter. I don't know, Molly. You're sort of at the age where I think you might still need one. Well, I don't. M Mom, I could babysit my sisters. Molly, you're not even that much older than me. What are you talking about? Yeah, but I'm responsible, Mom. Look, I've got a job and everything. Well, you do have a point, and I'll only be gone a couple of hours during your night routine. Do you think you can handle it, Molly? Absolutely! Would a hot dog lie? Oh, my God, I can't believe you're going to leave the hot dog in charge. <sighs> I wonder what's on TV. I get a bad dog to do TV. Um, you're not allowed to watch TV. You have to do your homework and your night routine, Molly. Uh, boring. I am going to do my homework. Well, good for you, but I'm not going to do my homework because I don't have to. Mom left you in charge because she thought you were responsible. 
<laughs> that was silly ever. Oh, look at that adorable dog. It looks like he just farted. Molly! Okay, well, that was perfect timing because I actually had to fart. Oh, hospital 911! Boing, 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 whee! Can I jump on the couch, Molly? Yeah, you can jump on the couch. Let me join you! <laughs> whee! OMG, I'm reporting you to mom. Where's my cell phone? Don't you dare! I'm in charge here and I say no calling mom. Oh my gosh, well then I'm filming this. Put that away! You're being so rude and bossy. Duh, I'm your babysitter. Of course I'm going to boss you around. Tell you what to do. Whee! This is fun! Now put that away. Fine, Molly. But I'm still doing my homework. This is a special night. It's called No Rules Night Routine. Whee! Okay, now where are all my snacks? Are you not going to make us real dinner, Molly? Yeah, I'm going to make you some real dinner. Here, I'll show you what real dinner looks like. Looks a lot like this. Mmm, <laughs> these Doritos are delicious. You're the worst babysitter ever. Mom shouldn't have trusted you with being in charge. Well, since you're not in charge, I'm telling you, be quiet. Woo! Wait, where's baby Kira? I can't cook it for Daniel. Great idea, baby Kira. I like the way you think. That's because she's one years old, Molly. And, and you're a lot like her. A baby. You're rude. I'm bossy and annoying. Go to your room. What? Are you serious? Yeah, you're grounded. But, but, fine. I don't need to be around you brats anyway. Did she just call us brats? I don't know, right? Ugh. I ate too many sweets. I don't feel so good. Mmm. Wait a minute. I don't feel good, Molly. I don't puke. What? No, don't puke on the couch. Ugh. Uh. No, don't. Come on, let's go upstairs. You can lay down. Okay, Molly. I go night night. Yeah, sure. You can take a bath first. Come on. All right, let's go in um to Mom and Dad's room and you can take a bath. I take bath in slime? Why not? I don't see why you couldn't take a bath in slime. <laughs> Be right back, baby Kira. Gotta make sure the one that's being punished is actually listening. Go away, Molly. Go away. Okay, maybe I was a little harsh with you. I brought you some Doritos for dinner. I don't want Doritos for dinner. I want a salad with some salmon. Ew, that's so healthy. This is our no rules night routine. Do you think you could just let down your hair for once, Daisy? No, being in pigtails is what I love. No, it's a figure of speech. Can you just stop being so uptight? Me? Uptight? Are you serious? Yeah, you are uptight. Come on, I'm going to show you some things that I think will make you feel a lot better. You okay in there, baby Kira? Wait, what? I'm so confused. I went the wrong way. Oopsie. I must have eaten too many Doritos and they went to my head. <laughs> Baby Kira, don't fall asleep in the slime! I died, I died, I died. Okay, put on some clean pajamas. Okay, Daisy, the thing you need to start with is jumping on the bed. That is totally against the rules. Who cares? Whee! And now we're going to get in the safe. We're not supposed to get in the safe, Molly. Totally going to, though. Holy guacamole! Look at all the money Mom and Dad have. Oh, um, gee, are you serious? Our no rules night routine just got a lot better. Baby Kira, come on, we're going to the ice cream store. <laughs> cash money, cash money. Molly, I don't think that's such a good idea. It's a perfect idea. Now everybody, come on, I'm in charge. What kind of ice cream are you guys going to get? Huh, 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 huh? Molly, I still think this might be a bad idea. That's not our money and we're not supposed to be here. Oh, fuck it. Ew, Baby Kira, gross. And Baby Kira's eaten enough sweets for one night. Come on, use better judgment, Molly. The best judgment is, now she has room in her stomach for more sweets. Ew, Molly, that's disgusting. Whatever, come on, let's go. Welcome to Brookhaven Ice Cream Shop. How can I help? <gasps> Molly, what, what are you doing here? Mom, what, what are you doing working here? Wait a minute, we're... You're supposed to be home doing your night routine. Where's the baby? I can't, Mama. Hi. Um, where did you get that money? She took it from the safe. She's the worst babysitter ever. Daisy, you're grounded. 
Not a chance, Molly. You're going down. She's been jumping on the couch, eating sweets, and charging me around for trying to do the right thing. Molly, I thought you were old enough to, to handle this responsibility, but I guess not. Mom, why are you working here? <sighs> well, I was going to surprise you girls next week, but I've been picking up some hours here as a second job so I could take you to Disney. But the way you've been acting, Molly, you might have to stay home. Really? No, but you're definitely grounded when you are at home for at least, I don't know, a month. A month? Holy guacamole, Mom! But trick-or-treating, I'll miss it! Well, that's the way the ice cream melts, Molly. <laughs> that was a terrible joke, Daisy. It was terrible! Well, I thought it was funny. 